thing on the internet, girls who dance after they eat food. <laughs> Today I'm showing you an example of a very simple salad using tomatoes, avocado, and scallion. I really like to make dressing in the bowl first, whisk it together, and then throw all of your ingredients on top and toss it. We're gonna do olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm going to be honest, I don't always measure my salad dressing ingredients, but ideally you want a one-to-one -one ratio of olive oil to vinegar. This one-to-one -one ratio leaves your dressing quite tangy, so if you don't like the tanginess of a vinaigrette, back off a little bit on the vinegar and add a little more oil. A couple pinches of salt, pepper, and a little bit of a three-month-year-old in the background. Give it a little taste. Then you'll know if you need to add a little bit more oil, a little bit more vinegar. We're gonna chop up our veggies, tomatoes, you can use any tomatoes that you have on hand. We got a bunch of cherry tomatoes recently, so that's what I'm going to be using. These guys are going everywhere. Maybe you keep them inside of your bowl first before you decide to chop them all up. And so I'm just going to have them lengthwise. So just kind of hold it in between your fingers. Put your knife right in the middle and slice. Try to use some good tomatoes. Don't use a beef steak that was flown into your state from thousands of miles away because it likely won't be very uh, flavorful and it might be a little mealy and it's just gonna ruin the salad for you so choose a good tomato just going to dump them in now let's get our avocados going you want to make sure you've got some ripe avocados when you squeeze them you should have a little give to them Looks good. Let's get that pit out. Oh, so sometimes this happens. I don't really know what that means, <laughs> to be honest. So just try to fish it out. There. Okay, very dangerous. I cut right through the pit here. These pits are quite soft. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Kiki, no. Uh -uh. I swear I know how to cook. So what I'm gonna do is slice the avocados lengthwise first and then widthwise to get them roughly the same size that the tomatoes are. This is gonna be more of a chunky salad. So something like that. And then what you can do is take a spoon and scoop out those chunks like so. Next, we are going to chop some scallion. We're just going to thinly slice it right on top. And lastly, cannellini beans. I like cannellini beans. They're essentially white kidney beans. They're very soft and they have a really nice, delicate flavor. We'll add these right on top and then a little cilantro for a little something extra. You can use your knife to shave the cilantro leaves off of the stems so that you're not standing in the kitchen for an hour trying to pick cilantro leaves off the stem. It smells so good. Mmm, that's really good. You could eat it just like this. Be a really nice, simple side salad for maybe grilled meat um, or some other kind of protein or you can make it into a more filling salad and put this on top of a bed of mixed greens, some romaine lettuce, some spinach. It'd be really nice. 